Hey there, Sharon Hornell here. Welcome to day 228 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Confidence growth for focusing on this month. And today's topic is visualizing the desired outcome. Now, I don't know about you, but my brain, whenever I'm thinking about something or wanting something, <coughs> it starts to visualize that outcome. Now, a lot of times it will automatically visualize all of the roadblocks, all the setbacks, all the hurdles, all the challenges, all of the things that I'm going to have to change in order to become and achieve the thing that I want. I have to keep in mind that what we actually see in our mind first are the things that we create in our life. If we can't even imagine it, it's not going to come into our life. Now, it doesn't mean we don't get surprises and things we can't even imagine don't happen to us because they absolutely do. But somehow I believe that in the recesses of our mind or our subconscious, those things have always been available to us. We only consciously see a small percentage of what's going on around us <clears throat> or what's possible for ourselves. And so we need to always be focusing on, and I, I say always, but always on a conscious level whenever we remember is what I mean by always. To visualize and see the thing that we desire, the thing we want, as if we've got it already. What does it feel like? What does it taste like? What does it, uh, what kind of an impact are we having on other people in the world, et cetera? So today our challenge is to spend at least five minutes visualizing the desired outcome of something that you want. I'm going to say let's focus on confidence growth and, and situations that we're more confident in. Maybe imagine with all of your senses and visualize. I like to do it with my eyes closed. But if you're sitting in a park or something, you can just kind of zone out and stare at a tree. Uh, whatever works for you is what's important about visualization. Visualization is one of those tools that should be in everybody's toolbox. The truth is, all of us visualize. I know, remember early on when I heard about visualization, I was like, I don't visualize, I can't visualize, I'm not good at this at all. But the truth is, we all already think in pictures. It's just switching it from thinking in pictures of what's happening and going on right now or living in the past to what exactly do we want our desired outcome to be? What do we want it to look like? How do we want to be interacting with other people? How do we want it to make us feel? Uh, and if those things aren't positive and good, then I say pick a different vision. If if anything about something that you're visualizing feels negative or evil or bad or off or uncomfortable to you, maybe a little uncomfortable because it's a stretch goal or something, maybe it's not for you. Or maybe the way you're going about it isn't for you. We can actually create and have anything we want in our lives if we just decide. I'd say the biggest hurdle and the biggest roadblock for most people is actually deciding what it is that they want. And once we decide what we want, just keeping a picture of that in our mind will help us take the steps and take the actions to move toward that thing. So our action today, five minutes visualizing the desired outcome that you want. And if you could pick something for confidence growth, that would be good because it positively impacts all the other areas and aspects of our life. I'm going to, <clears throat> I already decided what I'm going to visualize today. Mine's going to be uh, positively impacting the lives of those I love and care about the most, right? We want to have a positive impact on, on the world and make the world a better place. But to me, part of my reason for existing is to make sure that the people I love and care about know that they're loved and cared about and that they're taken care of and that my behavior and how I show up for them impacts them in a positive way. And it's different depending on how old they are and, and what's going on in their life, right? I mean, the way I interact with my 33-year-old son, my 30-year-old daughter is very different than how I interact with my granddaughters who are now nine, three, and one. So that's what I'm focusing on today. That's what I will be visualizing, the outcome of my desired outcome for my confidently interacting with my favorite human beings on the planet. So any questions about this? What do you do? Of course, you ask. If you need help in guide two of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page is Andrea's story and how she used visualizing her desired outcomes throughout her life to get what she wanted. Uh, and that's, to be honest, that's what we all do. Whether we know it or not, that's what we do. We are always creating based on what we're thinking about feeling the most right now. So if you don't like what you're getting, remind yourself, well, that's based on the thinking that you had in the past. So the only way to get something else is to think differently, to focus differently, and to visualize what you actually want. All right, have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow for another confidence growth-related topic 
as part of this year's challenge. Have an amazing day. Bye. Slow connections.